wireless. Where's the wireless connection? <laughs> Let me hit send, you know. <laughs> Only if we had that power. A friend of mine has something like that on his phone and stuff. Yeah. Now they got that on those uh, on the iPhones and all that stuff. You can just uh, bring a camera or whatnot and have it all on your phone instead of uh, bring a whole $300 or $4,000 camera with or whatever. Or yeah. this little one here that I got. Is my girl okay? Because I want to look cute for your audience. <laughs> Hair's fine. You got that. Okay. You, you got you got that good uh, late or I don't know maybe late seventies early eighties look kind of you know with the sideburns and the the uh, the paintbrush hair and everything you know. Oh yeah. Thank you. Are you telling me I'm sexy? Oh, you're sexy. You're one sexy beast. <laughs> you like what Chris okay. Jericho always says? I'm a sexy beast or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Now you were talking. Hey, um, oh, can go you ahead. Get over this way a little bit, cause like your your head's crooked. There you go. Then uh, is see. it crooked like this? Like, hey everybody, how's it going there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no problem. Here. Uh, what was there you say? Uh, you excited about the new Raw DVD coming out, huh? About the new Raw. Uh, you just, you, your sound just cut off, buddy. What'd you say? The new Raw DVD, you know that's gonna be coming out. Oh the... yeah, season one and two. Yeah. Dude, I want to see that shit. <laughs> I have it. I have it in my uh, queue or whatever it is on my Amazon thing. Sure, sure. I I, I think uh, Walmart might have it uh, when it comes out because I know Walmart, at least a Walmart around here anyway, always gets all the new WWE DVDs right before it comes out. At least that's where I got the Elimination Chamber one from. <laughs> I got my Elimination Chamber one. I think it was at Best Buy or something for like twenty bucks. Yep, yeah, uh, I got mine at uh, Kmart for twenty dollars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Walmart was asking for 22 and I, that would also include a tax, so it would have been almost $24. I went to Kmart and got it for 20 or for like $21 or whatever, you know, total. So I thought that was a hell of a yeah. good deal. But I also... I just, oh, go ahead. No, no, no I, I just finished watching it you know, just last night or whatever. So what was your favorite Elimination Chamber match out of all, everything that you saw? Because that's every one, though. No, my, I like all of them, but like my favorite ones are the ones with Undertaker and the ones with Shawn Michaels in them. Okay, how about the uh, the ones that were the most bloodiest? Because it really got uh, at some point <laughs> they got kind of yeah, extreme. Some of them did, but then towards the end of yeah. the last couple of the matches, they weren't that, there wasn't that much blood in them anymore. Yeah, because uh, w, since WWE went to uh, PG, uh, any time a wrestler gets cut or whatever, they have to stop the match and and. Uh, Help that wrestler out so he's not bleeding all over the place anymore. I don't know why they. That's. I think that's kind of stupid. You know, if you ask me. You know, one of the things I didn't like about that elimination chamber stuff. The first couple of matches had those stupid sidebars. You know, I mean, they said elimination chamber on it because it wasn't shot in widescreen. Oh I yeah, did. yeah, yeah. The first two discs, uh, discs were like that, and then once they got to the 2008 No Way Out, yeah, I think they did that so you would have to. Uh, Watched, I don't know, because it was all set widescreen the way they did the the video angle and everything. Uh, the full stuff or the four by three stuff wasn't shot in widescreen, so they wanted to do something different. So you would have to set your TV settings, I think, to like a, yeah. a full screen or whatever. I don't know. I, I thought it was okay. I didn't mind it. Something all right, different. Give me one second, guys. One all right. <laughs> Just for all you guys that are wondering what the hell we're talking about, this is the DVD set that we're talking about here. The limit, uh, Satan's Prison, the Illumination Chamber Anthology. And let, and this is, and just hold yeah. up, Reddit. I'll go get my copy, too. All right. <laughs> this, is the, this is the one that, uh, or I don't know if you, my YouTube people can see this or not. The Illumination, Satan's about? Prison, Illumination Chamber. Pretty cool. It just came out. <laughs> Who would ever who would ever thought we'd have the same DVD, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but uh I also wanted to show you something, Brendan, something that you don't know that I got yet, but I think we were talking about it. I just got Frankie, it. Leave your pants on, please, Frankie. <laughs> I will show you here. I, 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 know, I know you have it, but I don't want to see it or smell it, sir. Well, Gabriel would be so mad at me for cheating on him. <laughs> Martin would be mad at me for cheating on him too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but anyway, <laughs> I will show you, and I will show your YouTube audience because I just got done doing a DVD review of this in yesterday's vid. 
uh, although this was supposed to be the day after the, the recording or whatever what I did, but anyway, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you, if you didn't see it. Is it a statement twice? <laughs> Part two of the video? <laughs> yeah. Frankie's new porno. Anyway, because I was planning on doing a DVD review of this, uh, of this uh, DVD I just got from a certain filmmaker, and I will show you guys right now, and I'll show you. Do 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 do. You see what it is? Nope. You go, oh, you got the grease thing? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Oh, did you get it? They sent it to you early or something? No, I just they just came out last week. Uh, I I bought my copy. Yeah, I bought it. I, I thought it was fair, fifteen dollars. Not a big deal, you know. And uh, if you see real. Cool, if you see, if you if you see the the right down here, I know you can probably barely see it, but uh, they autographed it for me. They signed it right at the bottom here. I know you can probably barely see it, but uh, they're yeah, both the directors that made it, Ron Pat Fug or Ron Fugel set Pat Radcliffe or whatever. They both uh, they both signed the uh, copy of it for me. So, yeah. It's cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, cool dude. Or no, no pun intended. Is it, is it worth watching? Yeah. The documentary was only 25 minutes, but they did a really good job on it. I've watched it twice already. And uh, the special features are, are just like they said, oh, about an hour of, of exclusive interview material and stuff that was added to the uh, uh, DVD, uh, especially last month's uh, 25th anniversary uh, celebration was added to that. So that's why they waited oh, yeah. on it. So, yeah. Who do they get? For, who do they get to interview and stuff? I know that I know. I saw Corey Feldman. Yeah. Um, someone, some I forgot who else I saw. I know uh, the, one of the bad guys is in there. Yeah, they got uh, pretty much just about all the cast besides a few members. They they got Richard Donner, the director, uh, Jeff Cohen, who played Chunk, Sean Astin, of course, Mikey, Corey Feldman, and Joe Pauliento and Robert Davi. Uh, Joe Pauliento and Robert Davi were the uh, Fratelli brothers. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I thought that was pretty cool, even just to get that many people. You know, it sucks they couldn't get everybody, but you know, Josh Brolin now is a bigger actor than he was 20 years ago or 10 years ago because of that uh, Jonah Hex movie and everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's and the rest of them, you know, I don't know if they were interested or whatever. But see, the thing about why they were able to get Jeff Cohen in the first place, the, the first guy they got, because they work. He's a lawyer in California. 